Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2008, it's a Toyota Camry. And as you can see, we have the rear wheels off. We are gonna be changing the rear brakes, the rear rotors, and we are gonna change the hardware kit as well. Um, the right side rear, the brake pads are really probably about 30% left on them where the left side here is worn down where it's practically touching right into the back of the rotor. So I'm going to do the worst one with you guys so you can see uh, what we're doing step by step. I'm going to bring you over here. I'm going to show you what kind of tools you're going to need and uh, then we're going to get this job done. Very important before you start the job is to make sure you push the piston back in on the brake caliper and make sure that your slide pins are sliding the way they're supposed to be, especially when the right rear is much better conditioned than the left rear. That tells me usually two things. Either the slide pins are not sliding or the, uh, the brake pad is rusted into the mounting bracket. Either way, we're going to check them both and see what we're going to need, and then we're going to get this job done. So, uh, all right, let me explain what we're going to do and what tools we're going to need, and we're going to get started. This is an example of what kind of tools we're going to need to get the job done. Um, we are going to use some synthetic brake grease. Uh, we need a small pry bar like this to push the piston back in. A very long ratchet. The longer the ratchet, the better it is for you. This we don't need. Uh, we're going to need a, a, a 12 millimeter or is a 13 millimeter and a 14 millimeter socket. So you'll need an extension, a bunch of uh, sockets. Uh, we're going to need a very big screwdriver, a 14 millimeter wrench, a hammer. Uh, I like my swivel head ratchet, but you can use just a regular ratchet too. The main thing is you make sure it's a very long extension. You're going to need a screwdriver, a tool such as this to push the piston back into the bore, whether it's this kind of a tool or the one that's a hand pump that you pump it back in. Something to clean up the backing plate where the hub is where, and the rotor fits onto in case it's rusted, and a file or sandpaper or scraper, whatever you need. To clean the rust off of where the mounting uh, in the mounting bracket where the hardware kit connects into a light so you can see what you're doing and a magnetic tray to hold all your nuts and bolts so you don't lose them all right so what we're going to do first is we're going to come in here we're going to come in with the screwdriver and we're going to take this screwdriver here and we're going to slide it in right through the back right here hook the brake pad and then keep slight pressure on it and push the piston all the way back into the bore. Okay. And now it's pushed all the way back in. And what we're going to check now is we're going to check to make sure that these slide pins here are sliding the way they're supposed to be. Because if they stay, uh, if they're rusted or don't slide, then we're going to have a problem. So let's see what it does. Now it's a little tight but it does move so that could be a factor as to why it uh, it wore down prematurely the left side over the right side because it could be staying applied so we're going to make sure we address that issue before we put it back together then we're going to come in and we're going to take out that bolt there it's probably a 13 or 14 millimeter same thing over here we're going to take the caliper and bring it off to the side and then we're going to remove this mounting bracket by taking out that bolt right there and there's also another bolt down underneath here, underneath the bottom right there. We'll take that out, and uh, then we'll take the mounting bracket off the car, and we'll take the rotor off. Now, you can see I sprayed it up already with some penetrating oil, or maybe you can't. You can see I sprayed it up already with some penetrating oil, so we can get things moving. Um, now, if by chance this does not come out, the rotor, if it's stuck, which the other side was stuck as well. We're going to come in here with a small little bolt like this. We're going to screw it in right through here just like that and then we're going to tighten this down and that bolt will push that rotor off. Or you could just grab a hammer and bang it in the back. The other side was extremely tight so I elected to do it with this bolt here but we'll see how it goes before we uh, before we 
um, take this rotor off. We'll see how it goes. All right, so enough talking. Let's uh, let's grab our tools and uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to take out those bolts in the back right there. We'll break them loose. Now, if you try to break these bolts loose and the the entire slide pin spins, you can get on here with that 14 millimeter wrench that I told you about and you can hold the slide pin so it doesn't actually rotate. That didn't happen here, but just in case it does happen, you know what to do. All right, we're gonna take these bolts out. We're gonna put them in our magnetic tray. Just going to take our caliper off to the side and this piston we will need to push this in a little further because it did not go in all the way so we'll push that in later on we're just going to put this out of the way for now that is the brake pad you can see how thin it is right there where it's just about touching into the indicator right there that's the disc indicator didn't touch it yet but it Probably, well, no, maybe it did because it looks like it bent it back a little bit. So, all right, we'll continue. All right, now we're going to take off our, uh, you know, the back of this rotor feels really bad. I'll show you when I get it off. Now we're going to take off the, uh, the bolts in the back of the mounting bracket back here. Now these are the slide pins I was telling you about. They need to slide nice and freely. This is a little bit, let's take that off. This one sticks just a little bit. So we are gonna clean these up a little bit with some. Okay, uh, so you wanna make sure these slide pins here slide nice and freely. If these don't slide freely, we'll need to, uh, to address that by either replacing the slide pins or replacing the bracket or whatever. But this one here slides pretty decent. We're just going to clean it up and it uh, should be okay. But we'll come back to this shortly. Now, remember we talked about this rotor, getting this rotor off. Um, you can get in the back here and you can bang it with a hammer and try to get it off. Or you can just put that bolt in there right there and just tighten it down. and it just pops it right off. This is the best way to do it because if you get up underneath here with a hammer and you start beating the daylights out of it, you may bend these, uh, these shields in the back right here. All right, so we're gonna take this off. And then the only thing we are gonna do is, let's see if you can see it here. That plug right there, we need to take that out and put that into the new rotor. And the way to do that, obviously, is just go in the back over here, pry on it, and it pops right out in your hand. Hopefully, you don't stab yourself. All right, so we're going to put this down for now. And uh, now, if there's a significant amount of rust on here, then you'll need to come in here with this disc and clean this all up. But this one has no rust on it whatsoever. So we don't have to worry about doing anything on here. This is in good shape. All right, let me uh, let me grab the parts that uh, just came in, and uh, we'll come right back. Okay. So I just want to point this out to you. This rotor, I cleaned it off already with some brake cleaner and a rag, inside and out, to get that oily residue off of it that they actually put on it during shipping. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put that plug back in. You want to put it in now before you put the whole thing back together because if by chance you push this in too far and it falls inside, you'll be taking the brakes back off. So we'll just put that in there right now, just like that. All right, and we'll put our rotor back on the way we took it off. Okay. 
okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna take off these clips right here. And the way that these come off is you just get in here with a screwdriver and you pry on it just like that and they come right off like that. Same thing here, underneath it with a screwdriver and you pry it right off like that. Now, if you look underneath here and you see there's a lot of rust on this area right here, that we need to clean up. So if you have a file where you have to use sandpaper or emery cloth, you want to clean it up really well before you put the mounted the, uh, the hardware back on. So we're going to take this over to the machine here, or the, the, the wheel, I should say, the wire wheel, and I'm going to clean this up. But if you don't have a wire wheel, you can't, you know what, let me show you. You get in here with a brush just like this here, and you just, a file, I should say, just like that. And now that should feel nice and smooth to you. Same thing here. This is the area where it's going to connect up to. And it's also, let me show you real quick. We're also going to clean up this little clip right here. That clip fits in this area right up in here. So we're going to clean this up a little bit right in there as well. And the way you can do that is two ways. You can do it with, the, uh, um, with your sandpaper, or you can just get in here with a file, just like that. But you want to make sure it's nice and clean before you put anything back on. So let me finish cleaning this up, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so once we have it cleaned up, we just put a little bit of, of grease everywhere that that mounting bracket is gonna touch, just like that. And now we just take our hardware that came, the new hardware kit, put it over the top just like this and we're going to push it down right inside here like that just like that and then we're going to push this down right inside here make sure it's pushed down all the way inside there because it, it otherwise it'll touch into the rotor so that's down all the way Same thing right here, over the top. Okay. All right, so now we're in all the way here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these slide pins right here. And we're gonna clean these up. Let's get some brake cleaner. All right, just put a little bit of brake cleaner on the rag. And then you just take the slide pin that you take out, clean off all of that grease that may be uh, on there, just like that. And we'll put a little bit of the synthetic grease on here, just a little bit, you don't need too much. And you wanna make sure it goes back in the same location that it came out of. You don't wanna switch them around. All right, so you just make sure it slides. Make sure that that rubber boot pops back on the way it's supposed to. See how it pop right back up in there? All the way up. And now we'll take this one out here and we'll do the exact same thing. Make sure that that popped back up. And that's it, it's ready to mount up. A little bit of synthetic grease, every place that the brake pad is going to touch. All right, now we're gonna put this down for one minute. Okay. So now we're going to match up our brake pads to make sure they're the correct ones. And as you can see, they are correct. All right, now I know I'm going to hear this from somebody about the grease on this brake pad right here. We are going to clean it with brake cleaner, just so you know. All right, now here you can see the, the indicator is right on here. We're going to put the indicator back on 
the new brake pad in the same location. We, we took our clip and the clip just pops right onto the brake pad just like that. We know this is the outer brake pad here, so we're going to put this now back onto the car itself. Or I should say onto the bracket. Now you can see I already put the other brake pad in here. I'm going to put this one in just like this. Everybody's in a hurry. Okay, so now our brake pads are mounted back in the bracket like this. And now we're going to take the inners on here as well. And the other clip is right there as the other one was. Okay, this is the other one. There's the indicator, and there's the indicator. All right, now we're going to take this and put it back over the top like this. Squeeze your brake pads. Okay, now once you got the bracket back on, you just screw your screws back in. Now before you uh, tighten that, the bolts up, you want to make sure you have both of them caught and turned in because otherwise you'll try to you'll tighten up the one and the second one will be off and it will not be able to catch that bolt. So make sure you have them both caught before you tighten anything up. Now we'll snug the bracket back up. Now there is torque standards for that. Uh, I've got to look it up. I'm going to come back and retorque that. But if you need the specs, send me an email. I'll, I'll give you the specs then. All right. Now, next thing, we, remember we talked about this piston here. It's got to be pushed back in. The way you do that is you grab the uh, either the new brake pads or the old brake pads. In this, in this case, I'm going to use the new brake pads because the old ones because the old ones are just worn down too far. All right, so now what we're gonna do, take the brake pad and put it in here like this. Put this brake pad on the other brake pads now, so we can get our tool in there. Put this in here like this, and you turn it, and it pushes that piston all the way back into the bore. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see how it's pushing it in? Okay, so now our piston is recessed back in as far as it's supposed to go. And now before you put it back on, every place that the brake pad is going to touch on the piston as well as on the caliper, you want to lubricate it. Just like that. Just a little bit. And I will take this, put it over the top, like this. You have to push your slide pins in slightly to get it to, to line up properly. Now we catch our two screws. You want to catch them both before you tighten up either one of them. And now we can tighten these bolts up here. Now if you're tightening this up and you try to tighten it and it's rotating, remember you take your 14 millimeter wrench, you hold the slide pin like that, and then you tighten it. Right? That's it. We're done. All right, so let me bring you in there and I'll explain what I did. Okay, so we made sure that underneath here, the, uh, the, the hub itself was nice and clean. There was no rust on it, which was. We installed our new hardware kit. We made sure all that rust was off underneath the bottom of it. We uh, lubricated everywhere that the brake pad is going to touch. We lubricated the slide pins. And we also tightened up 
the, uh, the bolts on the mounting bracket here and also in the back over here. We lubricated every place that the brake pad is going to touch. So we made sure that that's lubricated really well. And we also lubricated the piston in the back right there where it's touching into the brake pad itself. And we tightened up our 14 millimeter here and here. And that's it, we're done. A couple of things you wanna know. It's normal for you to get a little bit of a burning smell. It's also normal that you may see a little bit of smoke from the wheel too. And that's any kind of oil that may be down inside the ribs that you could not get out. Um, before you drive the car, you wanna step on the brake pedal pump it a couple of times to bring the brake, brake, brake pedal right up to the top, and then that's it, you're good to go. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.